Yes, indeed, also one of my favorite animals, the banded monkeys. They are one of the more interesting smaller creatures to watch, and they are often very, very busy. Now, I've been lucky enough to have, um, over my childhood, we had two different banded mongooses as pet, Monty and Lord Montague. Now, Monty was when I was very small, Lord Montague when I was a bit bigger. So we had lots of fun. He actually used to sort out the dogs, uh, even though he was half their size, or not even a quarter of their size. We had some big dogs. There we go. So they'll be scurrying about here, digging in amongst the dung, looking for grubs and beetles and other things. They're all also very, very fond of nesting ground nesting birds and their eggs in particular and there's nothing quite as excited as a mongoose that is found at a plover's egg or, or, or a thick knee or, or, or courses egg and they get very very excited and they make the most wonderful noises and then they'll put it between their front legs and try launch it against something hard like a rock or a tree to break it open if it is one of the the larger species of or bird egg species that they find oh you go a bit of aloe grooming now of course being very very social and uh, they have very, uh, very distinct demarcated territories that they'll defend vigorously from other troops of banded mongooses now troop is the more commonly used collective noun for banded mongoose but uh, the original english collective noun is one of my favorites it's a business of mongoose and that's of course because they're always about the business they always look like they're up to something busy bodies they are paula is wondering where do the the mongooses make their nests well they don't really have nests they have dens and uh, that looks like one of their oh, down they go dens uh, there it's uh, in disused termite mounds and holes in the ground and I think that's exactly where they are now and uh, they'll have multiple different dens within a territory as well as a bunch of bolt holes now especially in an area like this as you can see it's quite devoid of cover those bolt holes form a very important part in mongoose life because if something as sinister as a martial eagle were to come swooping from above they would disappear at a rate of knots down one of their bolt holes or into one of their dens oh and you can just see a lapwing running around in the back now, that's the type of bird whose eggs a mongoose would be very happy to find. Fuzz Man Sparkles wants to know what other mongoose species we have in the Mara. Well, we have dwarf mongoose, as a slub species, they're slightly more orange than the ones we used to. Um, slender mongoose I've seen and white-tailed mongoose. Now, there could be some other mongoose species there that we haven't encountered, uh, maybe in the forests along the Mara River. Uh, oh, a water mongoose, I've seen their tracks. Yes, there are water mongoose. Um, and uh, the others, I'm not too sure. There could be some of the gray mongooses. Salu mongoose don't occur this far north. Oh dear. Now, I know in Kenya, in the Abadares and some of the forested areas, like the Mao forests, there are some very cool, um, what they call dog mongooses, and uh, those are, are very endemic um, and very rare throughout the forested areas of Africa. Um, if you do yourself a favor, I think, the, is it Jackson's mongoose that occurs in Kenya? Well, that could be Gabon. Uh, I'm uh, running into my the deepest parts of uh, the recesses of my mind trying to remember the mongoose species but have a look on on google uh, dog mongooses and jackson's mongoose in particular i think they occur in kenya but they could also be stuck in my mind from my time in the rainforest